Hello and welcome back to the Eagle Griffin Games vlog, and this week we'll focus on five more games featuring art. Then we'll give you a sneak peek at the Mother Road Route 66, which is a brand new take on Sid Saxon's games Can't Stop and The Great Races. In the Eggs from the Vault segment, we'll give you a quick overview of a Reiner Knizia classic about buying and selling paintings, but first let's update you on a Kickstarter project that's launching real soon. On Mars, Alien Invasion is an upcoming expansion to Vital Lasurter's On Mars. This expansion will feature four story chapters, each chapter offering a different way to play On Mars. Chapter 4 is a new solo mode that requires you to complete four out of five unique goals in just 15 rounds. Sounds simple, but the aliens will be interfering with your plans the entire time. On Mars, Alien Invasion will land on Kickstarter July 15th. This week's Focus on 5 category is more games featuring art. Here are five more art-themed or art-inspired games from the Eagle Griffin catalog. In this fast-paced card game, you collect impossibly valuable works of art and put them on display in your own personal art museum, the Musée. The only problem is your opponents are doing the very same thing. Each gallery must be organized properly by exhibit number, but to succeed, you must balance your passion for order with the need for public acclaim. Impress visitors by tastefully positioning works of art side by side, showing similar themes. Make sure you don't get too greedy for applause, though. Doing so might disorganize your collection and keep you from displaying any more paintings. The first player to complete each separate gallery will open the exhibition early and receive extra recognition. The player who displays the most compelling combination of artworks in the most artistic manner is the winner. In Master's Gallery, the players are art critics and gallery owners, all have their own favorite artists in this pantheon of greats, or at least they do until the game begins. Tastes and opinions about each artist's commercial value change constantly in the world of old Master's art. No one has more influence on those values than the players in this game. Which player will exert the most influence? Who will best anticipate these changing tastes and opinions, and thus assemble the highest valued collection of these masterpieces? The cards in this game feature 30 of the most beautiful pieces of art ever created by Van Gogh, Renoir, Monet, Degas, and Vermeer. Fantastica, the Rucksack Edition, is set in a fantasy world of terrific 18th and 19th century art, portraying intrepid adventurers and the beasts they must subdue to pursue their quests. A subdued creature is added to your expanding deck of cards, making its special ability into your own. A defeated enchantress will wield you beguiling charms to help you overcome wandering knights. Knights will in turn subdue dragons, adding their fiery breath to your cause. Combine the powers of different creatures and fulfill curious quests. Send forth your rabbits of unusual size to nibble through the violin strings of the violent vampire Volnar. Or deploy a party of web-slinging spiders to string a bridge across the chasm of chaos. Some of the creatures you encounter carry precious gems, which you can spend to purchase powerful artifacts or summon mythical beasts to your aid. Victims of a curious card trick gone very, very wrong, you and a rival magician find yourselves lost in a billowing sea of fog. When it dissolves, you gaze upon the immense emptiness of Fantastica, the legendary land of fabled beasts and fantastical quests, only moments before it is summoned into being. And you are the magicians who will summon it. With nothing but a shared pack of magical cards, you and your opponent continue your competition by creating rival realms and Fantastica itself. Summon strange landscapes, adventure through arcane regions, find fabled beasts, gather odd and awesome artifacts. The magician who scores the most points for her realm in these weird ways is declared the winner. Number five on our list is Games of Art, a collection of seven games by Sid Saxon where each player wields a different color magic marker and together they draw a colorful piece of art reminiscent in the style of one of the seven different masters of modern abstract art.
Here is a sneak peek of the upcoming Mother Road Route 66, which is a brand new take on Sid Saxon's games Can't Stop and The Great Races that features iconic stops along one of the original highways in the United States highway system, Route 66. The game board will be a playmat that can be stored neatly inside the game box by rolling it up to fit in the insert designed just for that. The Mother Road Route 66 will be coming to Kickstarter in August 2021. In Reiner Knizia's Modern Art the Card Game, players are art critics, collectors, and gallery owners. On your turn, you'll be displaying one masterpiece card from one of these artists. The game is played over four rounds, and each round, players will successively play cards in clockwise order, choosing one of the cards that's in their hand to play from one of those artists. On your turn, you'll be displaying single cards in front of you of different artists, and as turns go on, you'll be playing cards that might possibly have special abilities, like being able to draw a card from the deck, or immediately playing a second card of the same artist or having all players simultaneously select a card and reveal and place it in front of them. Or being able to put a value token on any one of the artist cards, making them more valuable for the rest of the game. As soon as a certain amount of cards by any artist is cumulatively played by all players, the round ends. Whatever artist has the most cards out between all players will get a three, second most two, third most one. Those are the only three that will score this round. These ones won't which means any cards I play from any of those two artists are worth nothing this round. But each of the cards that you have from these artists are worth what you see here in the tokens. These ones are worth five, these are two, these are one. That's great, because I had the most of these. Each of them are five, so 20 points for this. These were worth two each, six for these, and one point for that. Now at the end of each round, these tokens stay here, so each round, more and more tokens are coming out, so things can become more valuable. But conversely, at the end of a round, all your displayed art pieces go to the discard pile. But have no fear, because you're going to be able to draw some more cards, depending on which round it is. Things really ramp up over the course of the game. At the end of the fourth round, it might look like this for scoring, getting 10 points for each masterpiece from this artist, and whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. Modern Art the Card Game is for 2 to 5 players, for ages 8 and up, plays in 20 to 30 minutes, and is available now. So click the link below to be brought right to the product page. I just gave you an overview of modern art, and today we're giving away one copy. Now to enter, all you have to do is be a subscriber of our channel and then make a comment. Now if you aren't yet a subscriber, you can click to subscribe just below me. Now what's a subscriber? For your comment for today's giveaway, let us know your favorite artist. Now you have one week from when this video was launched to enter. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's Eagle Griffin Games vlog, and you can click the playlist link below me to see all the past vlogs, and we'll see you next week.